Okay, so we'll start here with a master detail application, and we'll just call it master detail. And you can see we have a master and we have a detail. So what we're going to do here is we're going to delete the segue. All right, we'll do that. And we're going to go ahead and add a, another view controller. We'll put it over here and we'll go ahead and embed a navigation. And now what we're going to do is we're going to set up the, um, the segue from the from the master to the detail uh, not from the cell but from the actual view so we're going to go ahead and put this one down to um, here and say show detail so that's going to go to the detail view and then we're going to go over to uh, the other view which will be our second view and we'll be able to identify this because this has nothing on it um, but we can also put like a label or something on there so we'll come in here and we'll just put in second view so the key is we have to name these segues so if we look at the master we've got to give this an identifier and then we've got to give this an identifier so we'll come in and we'll do this as uh, second view and then we'll name this one just others okay so let's go over to uh, the source code here and I'll click on the master and we're going to come down to the table and we're going to add a function in here. So let's add it down to the bottom here and I'm just going to copy and paste this in here so I don't have to so you don't have to sit here and watch me type and then we'll go ahead and explain it. I must have paste wrong. Okay, so basically what's going to happen is is we're gonna we're gonna select the first uh, record where it equals one, and we're gonna go to the second view, and then all others will um, go to the first view with the detail content. So let's go ahead and see what this does. So basically, this is on the table view. When we selected a row at a path, we're gonna go ahead and take that row at the index level. And if it equals one, we go to the second view. All right, let's check it out. Okay, second view, okay. So now it's working. So this is a good way to create a menu structure to go to uh, different views based on the content of of the cells. I mean, I could even use a data source to figure out what type of cell it is and then send it off uh, to the appropriate view. So you can see now we have two different detail views hooked up to a single table. And it would kind of more look like this. And there you go.